Uh, you know, first of all, this, this, this was a good weekend for us. You know, we, we, got, a, we, got, we got some things accomplished. Um, you know, yesterday you look at uh, just the, the totality of what we did uh, from meeting at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, you know, got some things done in the stadium. Uh, then the players were able to spend some time with the youth after the, after the practice. And then we also, uh, as coaches came up and met with the high school coaches, uh, you know, it was a pretty productive day. We came back today. We had some really good work. You know, we, uh, you know, we met today, uh, made some corrections, came out here and scrimmaged tonight for a little over an hour. And, uh, you know, really, I mean, you talk about Saturday and Sunday around this country, uh, not many college football programs, you know, first of all, had to practice Saturday and Sunday. But I, I think we accomplished something. I think, um, I, I think we're starting to get the message to them of, of just what this is going to take. And, uh, you know, at least we're setting a foundation maybe for, for, for what we expect and what, what we expect from them. At the, at the outset of the spring, you said there'd be a lot of contact, but not necessarily a lot of scrimmaging. Are you scrimmaging more than you expected to? Um, I don't think more. You know, maybe. You know, I, I, think, I think, first of all, I really respect uh, Dylan Farrell, Lamar Bratton. They go every snap. You know, we have eight scholarship offensive linemen. Those guys literally play every snap. So a lot of it just has to do with them, you know, how much they can go. We try to be really smart about it, you know. We, we, we t as you notice, we take a lot of time between plays. You know, we take a lot of time between series. Uh, you know, we stop, we let them, you know, rest. You know, it's a, it's a little different tempo, but at the end of the day, we're getting about as many scrimmage snaps as any team I've been around. If, if you just take the guys that uh, will probably play next year. They're getting a lot of snaps. It's just we have to go about it a little bit different. You know, everything we do has to be thought out. So, um, you know, I'm glad that we could really scrimmage as much as we've been able to. You know, knock on wood, we can keep, we can keep doing that. But we, we, we really do have to be smart about it. Do you see any improvement in the offense? Um, you know, it, it's hard to tell, again, because, uh, you know, you guys have probably watched us a little bit, but people that would watch us a lot – our offense does a lot of little different things. And we certainly can't slow their progress down because that's our offense. And getting the timing of what we do is so important. So, uh, you know, the offense has a lot of things in. Uh, if you went out there and just kept statistics, I mean, the offense would be ahead of the defense. But again, it's really difficult because we don't want to stop on defense and just totally game plan against our offense because we're really not going to play any offenses like ours next year. You know, so we're trying to get a lot of scheme in uh, it doesn't match up exactly right against our offense. And there's a lot of mental things going through our defensive players' minds because we're really getting ready for like three different offenses. You know, so you take all that into consideration. But, yeah, I mean, our offense, there's some playmakers. You know, it looks like there's some guys. I mean, Lamar, Lamar Thomas is a guy. Uh, it's pretty easy to single him out right now. Uh, he's made some plays for us. Uh, B.R. Holbrook is really, I think, adapted well. Uh, you know, you can tell he's played a lot of football. And, you know, we have a couple running backs that have made some plays. But, again, you always temper that until you, until you look at the tape and you see why it happened and if it was one defensive player that busted. You know, so, we're, so the offense has been productive, there's no question. But we, we don't want to kid ourselves. You know, we don't want to, you know, think that it's going to be quite that easy once we get going. You know, both those, uh, Corey and Chambers is a guy that uh, he'll be the first to tell you has to get stronger. I wish we had him for two or three more years in this program. Um, but he's an athlete, tall, rangy guy, fits in well with what we're doing. He needs to get stronger. He needs to work on pass protection. Uh, Calvin McDowney is uh, an interesting guy. You know, I, I have to smile when I think of Calvin McDowney, a guy that's w lost a lot of weight. Um, um, great story. You know, he's got a lot of football in him. He likes to play. The players like him, respond to him. Uh, you know, he just needs to continue to get his body in better shape. But he has a chance to be a good football player for us. I really like his work ethic and his, his, his personality. Bob, you weren't here last year, but Deshaun Mills kind of had a tough year last year with injuries that lost his spot. What kind of spring he had? Uh, you know, I've been pleased with Deshaun Mills. You know, again, he's a guy that, uh, you know, I, I think we're very fortunate we, that we have probably, I think, 11 50-year players that have been here a long time. You can tell he's been coached. He's been through some different schemes. He's going to be, he's a guy that right now, 
um, you know, he and Tabana would be our two starting corners. Um, so he's, 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 he's had a good spring, you know, and we're using him as kind of the nickel and the dime uh, because of his experience. I, I, I've, been, I've been pleased with Deshaun Mills, really have. No, I think just um, just continuing to just continue to to really um, show them how we expect them to act, how we expect them to play, how we expect them to compete. You know, it's it's a it's a um, you know it's a complete um, um, culture change. It really is. I'm, I'm not minimizing that at all. And uh, uh, you know, we've got a responsibility to not let anything go. We have to address everything. Because if you want to change the results and you're not happy with the results, then you better change how you do things from top to bottom. And I appreciate our players. Uh, you know, I, I really do. I, I appreciate them because it, it's a major change. And I can tell that. And I appreciate them sticking in there. And if they can stick through it, uh, it, it it'll be worth it. You know, it'll be worth it. And I may be the only one that sees that vision right now of what it can be. But if they can keep going, at some point, this will be worth it for them. But I appreciate these guys. All right. I got it.